everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today my camera might look a little bit different. Um, I was messing with some of the settings on my camera because um, I thought I had turned like that, not the facial recognition, but sometimes um, on these Sony A5100s, they will do like an auto blur and it's been driving me crazy and I keep thinking I'm turning it off and I haven't been. So I did some more research and I think I have it off now, but I'm not sure that I have all my settings correct. So I'm, I'm open for some constructive criticism down there in the description box. Let me know if you think it looks better or worse. Um, you can't tell a difference. I, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But this is about my makeup basket. And um, yeah, let's get into it. It is a little different this week, but not a whole lot. Um, I do have a few things that aren't in any projects, which I'm okay with. I'm totally okay with that. Um, you know. It's, it's kind of nice to be able to put some things in that aren't um, in a specific project right now. It feels good. I feel like I'm cheating, even though I'm not. All right, first thing, of course, is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Oily Skin. Love this stuff. Um, I say maybe two weeks on that one. I think it's going to be done by the end of the year. I truly do. Um, I, this is actually in a project now, thanks to Rebecca, who is panning and stuff her New Decade Project Pan. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte eight High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. And this is in the color beige. Um, I really like the formula. I really like the formula of this. It's been a while since I had tried a new um, foundation because I've been on a no buy forever. I did use up all of my liquid foundations and I finally caved and I bought one. It's totally the wrong color. I feel pale. I feel really pale. I had to use more bronzer, but I still feel pale. Um, this isn't even my winter color. So I have to, um, if I repurchase this, and I, I, like I said, I like the formula of it, I would definitely have to buy something a little bit darker than this one, but I am enjoying it. All right, moving on, I have a mineral foundation. This is from e.l.f. and this is, I think it's like beige, medium beige or whatever. Um, I kind of, um, I kind of frankened my last one, which was in warm cause it was way too warm for me. This color is a good color match for me. So, um, I don't think that I'm going to franken this one, at least not yet. I'm going to use it for like the real way for a little bit first. So, um, yeah, I've got a liquid and, um, a mineral foundation words. Um, I have this is the NYX Correcting Powder in Green. This is, um, <laughs> because I am using so much bronzer and stuff with this particular foundation, sometimes my, my bronzers give off a little bit of a red cast to them with my skin tone. So I've been kind of toning it down with this green correcting powder and it's not in a project, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, it, it actually sets, it's, it's a really light way to set my um, foundation too after I put my bronzer on. All right, speaking of bronzers, I have blush and bronzer in here. They are both frankened and I'm obviously not gonna show them because I don't wanna spoil anything. If you see weird movement over here, that's my dog's butt. Yeah, he is kind of like hiding back there. I think he thinks he's an ostrich and that if his head is blocked by the bed that nobody will see him. Only I can see his little butt, see right there. Um, he might come over. You never know. Uh, all right, let's get on to the rest of it. My concealer and my highlighter in my magnetic palette. Of course, the concealer, where is it? Right here. Um, this is from the Jane Iredale, um, sample, color sampler palette in medium and the, where is it? There it is. Got a glare. Um, this is the highlighter slash blush from e.l.f. in Got a Glow. And let's see, what else do I have in here? Okay, I have two hot pots right here. This one is Fire Glow Balsam, and Balsam is what I have all over my lid today, if you were wondering. This is Terracotta from a Depotted Profusion palette. I do have this blending out my crease. This is just a Franken shadow. This is from the um, Real Herb Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. That's the color Fabulous. This is a Franken um, Bare Minerals Emphasize It. So that is what is in that palette. I'm also working on two shadows in the ColourPop Uh-huh Honey 
and um, it's just Palooza and I think it's Dandy, I think is the color. Yes, it's like a beautiful metallic yellow, a mid-tone yellow. Um, I have the Elf Eye Transformer palette because it's got to get done this year. It does. Um, the Elf Mad for Matte also has to get done this year. Let's take a peek. Not you, me. I'm going to take a peek. Um, I think it's going to be done this year. That's that's my, my feelings. Um, all right, moving on to the rest of the eyes. I have no real primer. I haven't been using a primer the past couple of weeks. One, I don't have one in a project, but I also have my DIY um, cream eyeshadows, and they have primer in them. So if I'm using these, and I've been using them quite a bit, I don't need an additional primer with these. So I have my weird one, which I will show you because it's not in a project. Um, it's got a little bit of um, liquid in it. I sprayed some glycerin in the top. That one, I've been using that one a ton lately. It, this was almost full two weeks ago. Um, the Hot Side Pink Mica, which there's so little left of that. I, I was hoping it would be done in the, pat, the last basket, but it is definitely done now, or done now. It is definitely going to be done now in this basket. Wow, foreshadow much, Jess? Um, and the Coastal Sense Inner Violet Sparks. It looks white, but um, it definitely has the duochrome. Hopefully you can actually catch that as I shift it. There's definitely a violet duochrome to it. Rest of the eyes. Woo. I've had a dry throat lately. Um, the rest of the eyes. I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. But I want to work on sticking with my duo, my um, Urban Decay duo in Rockstar and Perversion. It's getting shorter and shorter and getting much harder to sharpen. So I would love to see that one done. Not that I don't love it, but because I have so many other eyeliners I need to get through. Last eyeliner that I'm putting in this week is the Star Looks Gem Pencil from... Uh, it's the Star Looks Gem Pencil in Amethyst, not from... It is from Star Looks. I'm having that night. I am definitely having that night. Um, all right. Mascara, the green Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I'm so happy that I have the purple again. Have, I haven't opened it. I won't until this is done. But I'm so happy to have that back in my collection. That was from my Ulta 2000 Point Replacement Haul. And I would like to say that I would link it up in the cards, but you know I'm going to forget. And... Um, it was just a few days ago. Uh, I am bringing in the e.l.f. Tame side for my eyebrows. Um, they've been getting a little unruly lately. I don't know if I need to go get them taken care of, these crazy caterpillars of mine. But So I'm going to bring in that Tame gel and see if that will work. Now we're going to go on to the miscellaneous, which is this e.l.f. Shimmer palette. I'm going to be working on this. And... Um, Let's see, lips. I brought in an extra thing. There's one thing that's not in here from last week. I'm not sure why. And then there is something that I have brought in new this week. Everything else is going to be the same. My lip balm is the C.O. Bigelow My Favorite Lip Balm. I, I actually do really like that. I pretty much only use that at night before I go to bed. And um, yeah, because I don't like to have dry lips ever. Um, my Franken... My little Franken, that is, um, I have that with a combination of this lip pencil on today. Um, this was the Avon black lipstick adjuster that I Frankened with a bunch of stuff. And the Avon big color pencil in Sherry. So that combination is actually what I am wearing on my lips today. The Makeup Forever Artist Rouge C211. I set it on the first try. Yay. Um, I'm going to be using that this week. That one won't be done this week, but, um, you know, just going to keep working on it. As long as it's done by December 31st, I'm a happy girl. I really am. All right. And the new product that is coming in this week, also from the New Decade Project Pan, um, this is the e.l.f. And which one is it called? It doesn't really say. It's one of the, their lip liners. I don't remember what specifically it's called, but it's in the color Nude Pink. So, and I'll show it to you because I haven't used it yet. You can see the color of it. I think that's going to be easy to use on days when I do like a one color look on my eyes, throw on some mascara, 
and a little um, liner and gloss out the door. I'm good to go. Because, you know, busy mom life. That's the way it goes sometimes. That is this basket. And, um, and I'm going to be issuing a challenge. I'm not going to say what that challenge is just yet. But Amanda, be forewarned. The challenge is coming. I'm throwing down the gauntlet. I am going to do it. And um, I'm going to peer pressure you. So be prepared. The challenge is coming. And when I issue that challenge, if anyone else is crazy enough to want to join in, we would love to have you. And I say we because I know, I know if I throw a challenge down, she's going to pick it up and run with it. I just, she's going to have to. I did it for her. It's paybacks, girlfriend. It's paybacks. It's your time. All right. I am going to wrap this up. Be on the lookout for that challenge coming very soon. And um, yeah, that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day. Thank you.